morning. That's uh, two people that call me Mr. The bank manager and Bridget Sinnott. Um, how are we doing here? Who? That's me, John Fitzgerald. I'm a member of uh, Dunlavin Communities First Responders in County Wicklow. Dunlavin is situated over here in West Wicklow, right on the Kildare border. Uh, we have 18 uh, people on the roster at the moment. We are CFR enhanced, that means we go to uh, chest pain calls and stroke calls as well as cardiac arrest. Uh, we are linked to the Admin Service and we are part of Wicklow Cardiac First Responders, which is the umbrella group for uh, first responder groups in County Wicklow. The first meeting was held in November uh, 2004. The first groups went live in January 2005 and us in Dunavon, we went live in April 2005, so we're nine years old next year, or next month, next month. Uh, we have 30 live groups in the county at the moment. I'll talk about 33 in brackets in a moment. We're all linked to the National Lamb Service, and we're all CFR enhanced. The groups are spread right across the county, from right up in the north, in, uh, in Bray, right down to the western border, Arklo, across to Carlborough, Ballyconnell, and Carnew, then right up to the top there in Blessington. Um, some of you might see some green dots on the screen. Do not adjust your sets, they're meant to be there. Uh, these are three new groups. This one here is uh, Nokanana. Nokanana trained with us last year, but their fundraising clashed with some current or, or, or other events in the area, and they got, got, had a little bit of a setback. But they're going to go live uh, possibly this summer. And then N. Scary up here, and Wicklow, Wicklow Town, they're going to train with us our next training weekend in April. And this one here is uh, Glenmalure. Glenmalure is drunk off. It's right in the middle of, uh, it's a valley right in the middle of two mountains. There's absolutely zero mobile phone coverage there. Uh, we thought technology might be able to help us out, but it's not doing it yet. So we're gonna leave that as a pad scheme for the moment. And uh, maybe technology will get there eventually and we can move on. The training, we have 40 instructors within the scheme. We also have Red Cross instructors. We also have occupational first aiders. We have a few uh, Order of Malta and we draw on every resource we can to train. We don't charge training, and uh, we don't take any payment at all for training. We have two training weekends per year, one in April, one in October, and we take two, two days to train our CFRs. And you're gonna tell me, but you can train the CFR in, in five or six hours, and I say, yes, you can, but all our responders are going to be on call. So day two of training is scenarios, we bring in, uh, advanced paramedics and paramedics from the army service and we put the guys through their paces so their confidence levels are really high when they go out there but even then oh i'm sorry even then they go back to the groups and they won't go on the roster for maybe two or three months and they'll go to the monthly training and get very familiar with the bag and the phone procedures and even then we have a buddy uh, system that we work for newbies and for uh, for uh, experienced responders they will go with an experienced responder. Uh, we carry out simulated calls, we go into a community, and uh, we carry out sim simulated calls. I see some people here from Castle Dermot, we did simulated calls here a few weeks ago in Castle Dermot, and then say, well done guys, they're going live tomorrow. Uh, monthly training. Uh, we, uh, we have a monthly training program, uh, it's a 12 month program that we give to all the groups to uh, take on, and we give them August off and December off. August for a barbecue, December for the Christmas party. Very important events. Uh, but uh, that runs around quite nicely for us. Every group has one kit bag. In the kit bag is the AED, the O2, the oxygen, a suction device for suction of the upper airway, uh, aspirin, and the emergency mobile phone. The operation is simple. It, we're linked to the National Ambulance Service Dispatch System, MIS. That's going to be upgraded or changed. I'm not too sure if upgraded is a correct, correct, uh, correct term, but it's going to be changed um, very shortly when everything moves into a TALA. A system works like this. Uh, emergency call comes in. It goes to, currently, it goes to Aircom Dispatch and they send it to the Fire Guard, Ambulance or Coast Guard. Ambulance Control takes it up, starts interviewing or interrogating the uh, caller to see what, what, what's the problem. It's a computer-aided system, so it's linked to satellite. So each community is ring fence, and if, uh, if, if the call is any, underneath any of the criteria that suits a first responder, we are dispatched simultaneously with the ambulance service. This is Dunlavin in the centre. The geofence is there. It's a five kilometre radius or 10 kilometre diameter. Uh, the call up here at uh, the narrow bridge, as we know it, 
our um, Green's Red Cross is a cardiac call. Our responders here, Michelle up in Sparrow Road, and uh, even with rush hour traffic in Dunlavin, she should be there in about three minutes. Rush hour traffic in Dunlavin is not great now, it wouldn't be a lot. Um, currently, March 2014, we have approximately 300 CFRs. Um, we have going to have 33 groups by the end of the summer. We have attended over 2,500 calls in those nine years across all the groups. We have an average response time across the scheme of less than five minutes. Funding, who pays for this? We are 100% voluntary. No top-up payments, no balloon payments, no cars, no pensions, only hardship. Seriously, it's really, it's, it's communities in County Wicklow that fund us, they keep us going. And we get a few bob from uh, County Council from time to time, and uh, a few years ago we applied to HSC for a project to train some new uh, instructors, and we got a few bob there as well. But it's run on a shoestring, and we have an excellent treasure, the best, mostly measured this morning, it's Michelle. With downtime, it's not all goes. Some groups are really, really busy. Certain group, groups aren't, so what do you do in your downtime? You don't sit in your hands. Well, if you're a responder in County Wicklow, you don't sit in your hands. You get out and you start doing stuff. We do career information nights, we do community awareness, we do community training, uh, uh, commission only CPR, etc. what's an AED, we do all of that. Uh, we do stroke awareness with the Heart Foundation's uh, 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 publications, and again, with the Heart Foundation's publications, we use heart health awareness. We also get, try to give the Heart Foundation a dig out with fundraising. We uh, started a project about three years ago, uh, fundraising for PAD schemes in addition to the bags in our communities. So we're putting up um, public access defibrillators in conjunction with the bags. It helps with community awareness. Uh, we have a few, plan few things uh, in mind how to promote this. Dunlavin hours went up on Saturday, in fact. It's going to be, I don't know if the defib is in it yet, but it'll be in very, very shortly. Another, another thing that we're doing is we started this year is going into uh, secondary schools and we started uh, using uh, the Heart Saver Family and Friends uh, DVD and we started uh, teaching transition year students. That's a project at the moment. We have a pilot so we're going to see what the problems are and we hope we we'll get that fixed because we're using volunteers time to do this so we have to be mindful of that. Uh, some of you might have seen this before, um, the chain of survival. Um, at the end of the day it doesn't matter who's pushing on the chest, it just matters that it happens fast. That's the motto, I think that should be the motto for the, uh, for the weekend or for, for, the, for the day anyhow. Um, it's all about getting there and getting on the chest and pushing and waiting for the cavalry to come in behind you, the army service to come in behind you. And once that phone call is made, they're coming. Uh, so that's what it's all about really. Um, we wouldn't be where we are nine years now if it wasn't for uh, the support we get from the FEC. Jacqueline Egan and Dr. Jeff King, they're hugely supportive of us. They're on the phone for us. Uh, the same with uh, Bridget in the Heart Foundation, huge supporter and giving of our time for us. Always on the phone for us and we are hassle. I know we are. That's the nature of me. I'm sorry. Um, and again, the AMS service from Mr. Martin Dunn, he was here earlier, and Des Kelly, and all the guys we meet on the road, all the paramedics, advanced paramedics, response car, we are, get huge support. Uh, vote pat in the back and say, guys, you're doing okay, keep it going. Without it, we wouldn't, we wouldn't continue. We couldn't continue. We were, it was, it was dark times, but we're here and we have a full room of like-minded people. The country's full of, I said it, been saying it for years, we don't have monopoly on goodwill and community service in Wicklow. It's everywhere. This is the Upper Lake in Glendalough. It's really beautiful up there. You should come and visit. Thank you very much. <laughs>